for good. Welcome back to my 2020 playthrough of Borderlands. In the last episode, we made our way through the arid hills, picked up some sniper rifle parts. I've got a better healing shield than that. And that. And now we've got to Sledge's safe house. Apparently there is a key to Sledge's hideout in Headstone Mine here. And I'm sure it won't be guarded by innumerable bandits and a, a mini boss. But then again, it might. Now I didn't want to go, I didn't want to uh, go and hand in the uh, sniper rifle mission because it meant it mean trekking all the way back to Firestone. Which means that I'm under leveled for a mission. This is against my principles. So I'm going to use grenades copiously. don't want to be in the way of that fire barrel when it goes up. And we've got a badass bruiser over there. Okay. First of all, top up on grenades. what we can do with this bad ass. Stuff though. Right, I heard a cycle uh, somewhere. There he is. Time for my pound of find some grenades soon I'm gonna pop back to the machines again. Guess they're keeping me alive at the moment. Let's have a little look around this area. And here we have our first proper trap trap rescue. <laughs> now we can actually pick up the mission from this side of the fence. But strangely, you can't turn it back in through the fence. But this is fine. What this does mean, by picking it up here, we can get the repair kit that's needed as we go round, which saves us having to double back. 
so it's still worth picking up a claptrap mission there and unless I pick up an, at least two grenades here uh, used for the chocolate teapot I'm going to nip back and get some from the machines whoops overshot it clearly I'm closing on level 14 things will be a bit more manageable then oh what's that Shop house and Betty. Ooh, do I want to use that rather than mine? Good question. It's hard to see new opportunities with old equipment. Upgrade now. What do I got to sell? I'll get the light machine gun. Do I already know that? Really want the healing kit? Um, shock bouncing, Betty. I'll give that a go. And see how it matches up to the explosive version. Things respawn around here quite quickly. So I'll race back as fast as I can. Oh, bad ass psycho. Jolly good. To me. We'll turn it back to that. That worked. I'm going to have to phase walk. And I don't think I want to face him when I come out of it. Let's just get out of the way for now. Bit of health. Please, here. I got something for you. No, I'm not quite sure. I, you know, I like that as much as I like the explosive. <laughs> ah. Back on level now. That's better. What do we got here? Ooh. I'm getting my fair share of bad asses. Damn. That's why I don't like that's why I don't put a great store in shields over over health. Because a psycho with a bug axe is gonna take your shield out in one blow, no matter how big it is. Well cut to that. That's a fair old shotgun. Um, uh, SMG, this I must say, I quite like it. We got anything else left in here? No, just our claptrap to rescue. And a red chest. All this stuff. My um. <laughs> I 
I'll be using that at some point, I should think. Or that one. That's level 16. It's not that far away. I might keep the best of those, just to see if they're okay. Now let's cheer Claptrap up. I can see the tunnels. I forgot to pick up all of my talk of not having to double back. And I got so carried away by that super bad arts. Or that bad arts, when we were super bad arts. I forgot all about the repair kit. Where are we? There we are. And the waypoint does take you there. Just look up. Dear, dear. That's what comes of coming under leveled. I'm paranoid. That and I've got a terrible memory. Let's take the backpack as to you straight away. Hey there, stranger. Follow me, please. I certainly will. Sometimes clap traps give you an extra little treat after you've repaired them. Besides the SDU, and this one does. And Not open. all do that. Yes. And there's normally a good little stash in here. Interesting. I've just got to have a look at that shotgun. So that's uh, 180, 216, 12 shots. Much bigger, but only 6 shots. 313. That should be the better gun. Let's give that a go. And I'm filling up. There's lots more goodies to come. So I'm going to rush back to the vending machines again. I'm pushing me luck here. I feel sure that something's going to respawn. That can go. That's going to be better when it comes. I'll keep you just in case. 270. Which of those do I want? Two seventy. Three seventy is loads of damage, but less accurate. But I don't give a damn about accuracy. So you can go. Keep that incendiary sniper. Didn't like that. Don't want to rubberized. Okay, let's see. If they haven't spawned back in here now, they're not going to be good to get back to where I was. Uh, 
Uh, yes, we picked up everything, didn't we? Let's remember that barrel's there. into a corner at my time of life. That was a silly thing to do. Okay, just pop down here. See if I've got some shotgun rounds for me. Or a grenade, even better. Well, I don't know why I'm worrying, because I've got loads of ammo coming up. So how's my ammo situation? Need loads of SMG, so I'll keep looking. And a Jacob's revolver. That's not bad. Gun. I'll stick with this loadout for now and have a check of that revolver later on, I think. And let's see uh, how we do from the gips. best to avoid suiciders. I might always get stuck around the corner, poor thing. Now there's lots of ways we can get into the next area. We can go through there. There's a back way through a broken wall there. But the way I tend to go is just to follow, uh, is to go up the stairs because there's a red chest across here. Um, I get to it from this way, no big deal. You can jump to it from the walkway over there. And now we're getting some revolvers, I hope. And there's a masher. Well, that's me sorted for a bit. Now, as it happens, I know that I'm going to need a sniper rifle shortly, so I won't put the masher on, but I'll be putting the masher on shortly after that. Check ammo. Perfect. Get those on the way back if we need to. Oh, got some en enemies around already. What level 15? Now sometimes grenades don't take on these walkways. I think the sort of concept is that they, they they fall through. So let's see what happens there. Oh no, that worked. That's fine. That's good. And what do we got down there? A super bad eye. Sounds like a, a bad eye psycho. Roaring away. Yep.
Right. Now, here's our little mini boss fight. This, we get a Roid Rage Psycho. And this little devil runs round throwing an indefinite number of grenades at you in an enclosed arena. This is no fun. Now there is a an exploit that works 90% of the time to take him down in comfort. Um, let's see if I can make it work. So you want to get into the entrance part of the arena as quietly as possible. And you want to get your scope between the fence and the fence post. And there he is, God bless him. You can see why I don't snipe. There he goes. Now, if you think that's, uh, that's cheating or too much of an exploit for you, please feel free to rush around dodging grenades and being harried by the little midgets that are over there. Um, but personally, if there's an easy way to do something, I say do it. Never drops much though this bloke. I mean, if you if you don't know that way to to take him out, he is quite a pain to kill. But he doesn't drop very much for the trouble. But we do get the key. A key ring of several of seven thumbs. I suppose that's one way of you should be able opening to get a door with thumbprints. There's prints. nothing between you and Sledge, and we're one step closer to the vault. I believe in you. Okay, I've got plenty of ammo. No, I'm not. I'm a bit down on grenades. Let's see if I can find myself some grenades. Were there any left in that red chest we opened earlier? Yep. Okay, I feel better now. And the game doesn't make you run all the way back round again. It opens a door which opens your head, which is a bit of a shortcut. But that doesn't get away from the fact that there's going to be some opposition. Oh! <gasps> 
Oh, that was an astonishingly silly thing to do. Thank you, Psycho. That was very lucky. Bad move on my part. everything that's under the water there. I don't like that. Uh, I was lucky I didn't get caught by that barrel as well. So all in all, I was lucky to get out of that without uh, going down or even a death. Now I could just phase walk past them, but the hell. So, more SMG ammo. Shotgun shells. More grenades. Sell some stuff. from the way I play, nothing really beats a Brutal Masher, so I didn't really look at the others. Um, all 15 for that sniper, keep that. Yet another explosive against the Betsy. That's me sold up and ready to go. So we've got the key, and next thing we want to do is get back to Headstone Mine. But I think we'll be doing that in the next episode.